Well, hey guys, good morning. So, skincare update. You saw that I'm using a new CeraVe sunscreen, the CeraVe AM. It's SPF 30, a combination sunscreen. It's one that I've used in the past and you all recently have been asking me a fair amount about and I, I love it. If you tolerate combination sunscreens, they do have a few chemical filters, but they've got the zinc in there. It is a fantastic one. And I filmed a video yesterday on all of my favorite CeraVe products, talking a little bit about them. So that will go up, or is up, it will go up. Um, and so I'll talk more about it there, but it's just a great, great skincare. It's just a great sunscreen. It blends super easily, and which I'm just finding to be the case all around with combination sunscreens, that they blend a lot easier because they're lacking the titanium dioxide component that tends to leave that white film. And it uh, also has a niacinamide for kind of redness relief, and it has hyaluronic acid, and it's their signature ceramide blend that just always seems to sail through. So, love that. And then, okay, I gotta say, I am hooked on the Hadalabo uh, Super Hyaluronic Acid uh, Gel Plumping thing. Um, I really, really do think it supersedes the Neutrogena one. I'm just gonna say that at, we're about 72 hours in of BID dosing and I like it. Last night I tried the um, oil cleanser, which I looked a little bit more into the ingredients. It's both olive oil and um, olive oil and jojoba oil, which you guys know I'm a little apprehensive and hesitant about these uh, the kind of t about these types of oils because olive oil in particular and jojoba oil, you know, they're not a pure substance and so they can degrade into irritating substances. Um, but I used it to take my mascara and my um, and my makeup off. Just just put it in my dry hands and rubbed it on my face, and it worked really well. It comes out a lot more liquidy than I think I was expecting. I like that it's in a pump though, um, so that was nice. I did that, hopped in the shower, and uh, used the foaming cleanser to remove everything else, and thought it was fantastic. Did a great job. So this morning I've got my. Um, Maybelline Colossal, the waterproof version, which I don't like wearing waterproof mascara, but I did it uh, intentionally, I did it with the intention of giving that oil-based cleanser a whirl -a doodle So yeah, that is what is going on. And oh, update on that chocolate cherry chia pudding. Well, I'm not really a huge fan of, cher of chia puddings. Um, that's helping me get through my um, Costco stash, so. Um, I've just made my breakfast here. I've got, you know, my Beauty Dust coffee. I'm on my big, biggie size, it's all good mug. Good morning, and then I've got my um, water here with one of these FRC packets in it that I am really loving from the VC, Vitacost, if you're new here. Highly recommend checking it out. I have a discount code below if you wanna save a few bucks on your first order. And uh, this is that boring Caltrate vitamin D calcium supplement. I'm back on my dissolving biotins, and I don't know why I ever went to those gummies. I prefer these, honestly, just as far as a flavor profile. And then I've got my cauliflower oats. If you're new here, I have a recipe video on how I make these. Um, but today I've just topped it with a little bit of my loving, loving golden goddess chocolate elixir and some of that uh, chocolate, uh, some of that cacao cow chia pudding that that um yeah that i made uh two vlogs back so if you want to see how i made that make sure you check out that vlog and then this is a salsa jar that i use a little bit of coconut oil to remove the label and look how nicely it cleaned up so i'm going to use that for storage i just know um, i'm thinking that these little frc packets will fit nicely in it right yeah, that would even be a nice gift for somebody, but let's be real. I want to keep all the FRC to myself. But yeah, that is what is going on. I'm going to have my breakfast and head on out to work. All right, guys, so I'm on my way to clinic, and I'm donning Cooley Bar. Update on the abrasions. They're healing quite nicely. I'm still definitely keeping them covered, but we're quite a few days out, so the, uh, the new skin is pretty much completely healed over. I just don't want to... Uh, exposed to the sun 
uh, which UVA is coming in through the window and uh, that penetrates deeply and during uh, wound healing, not only is that the ray that ages the skin um, and damages the collagen, but when you're trying to repair a cut or any kind of wound, um, having that go down deep and muckety muck up the uh, the bed, so to speak, is uh, not ideal. So keeping it covered with coolie bar. Um, and yeah, I mean, I realize I look a little nutty sometimes in my uh, sun protection, but I don't care. I, don't, I, I really don't. Plugging along on Audible here with uh, Plague of Doves, it's quite good. It's a long one, which I enjoy. Um, it gets me a little more bang for my credit. I do need to uh, abandon Audible, though, and go back to Overdrive. I used to use that in the past. It's the library app. Um, I used it when it was relatively new, and uh, I found it very frustrating for uh, various reasons, but perhaps it has uh, improved. I imagine it has. Anyways, I uh, got my lunch here. It's basically, I think, a, a repeat of what I had on Monday. Loving my lentils, and so I'll pan scan that at the noon hour, hopefully, and that is where I'm at, guys. Lunch today is basically the same thing that I had on Monday. This is spinach, the brown lentils. They kind of got tossed around haphazardly in my uh, lunch tote. And that wonderful um, kombu reconstituted in just water, as well as uh, some nori so he doesn't feel left out for being the weaker sea vegetable, in my opinion. Uh, some of my lovely lentils, carrots, celery, cucumber, and my girl Hillary's. And it looks like I forgot nutritional yeast, but that's okay, because that kombu is flavorful. So flavorful. Then I brought my own orange today. And I have a supplemental salad. And you know, it's Wednesday, so saltines. <laughs> so yeah. That is what's on the menu. As I walk back down the corridors of whitewashed stone, through the five doors, back onto the ward. Well, hey guys, just uh, done with clinic and uh, reapplying a little uh, UV sport. This is my combination sunscreen that I love and blends in so readily. It's zinc oxide along with the UVB filters, octinoxate and octisalate. So that is good. Remember, about sunscreen guys the absence of pinkness or redness does not mean you are protected from the Sun so you've got to reapply and then I've got my this is the gold star so far in sun protection on the lips it's the Vanny cream uh, zinc titanium it does go on as you can see quite white but it'll sink in it'll sink in and it's hydrating so I decided to come over here to Tuesday morning just to check out the new stuff they got in. And look how cute these coasters are they got. They're so pretty. They're paper. I love these. These are really pretty. I also really like the um, butterfly ones. And then these are so cute. The little beachy ones. The palm tree. How fun is that? <laughs> So this is a new, so I've never tried one of these candles before, the Napa style. They smell really good. But they have this Illume brand. I really like soy candles. I find they burn nicely, but ew, I don't care for that fragrance meditation. It's a little too heady. Um, but these Woodwick candles are really nice because they burn with like a crackly sound. That's like totally fun. Ooh, I love that. That smells nice. What is that? It's like a cookie. Sweet vanilla. I like that. I'm beginning to think Makers of Wax Goods was just a dream I had. I'm never gonna relive. But always on the lookout for them. Mmm. This Yankee Candle Coral Tide is kind of nice, but I think I would get sick of it too quickly. It's very florally. James and Maria Organic Company. 
Mm, too flowery. Smelling candles is like the complete relaxing thing to do. It's like my happy hour to stop in a random store and just smell candles. I know. It's bizarre. Oh, look. Isn't he cute? Look at all these sad little mugs. If only they knew. They just can't be as good as Totoro. This one's cute though. The Alice in Wonderland one. It's sweet. This is like China or something. It's pretty. It's got Tweedledee and Tweedledum on it. <laughs> Cool. It's another one you can get with all the characters on it. It's cute. And they also have a Wizard of Oz one too. All in good time, my pretty. <laughs> That's what UVA is telling you. All in good time, my pretty. <laughs> Let's look at the uh, Italian cookies. I imagine these are stale, unfortunately, but I bet they are delicious when they're fresh. These Tessero ones. This is the smartest name for a cookie. Be happy. <laughs> a chocolate cookie, of course. Forno Bonomi. I bet those are good. I bet those are good as like a... Um, in a tiramisu, like the ladyfinger cakes. As you can tell, I don't really do much in the way of home decor. It's not really my thing, um, but I like looking at it, and I'm totally loving this. Look how sweet this pineapple is. It's really pretty. It's really cute. I like that. I also like these lantern things. Those are kind of cool to have out on your back porch or something. But a citronella cake. Hey guys, I just got back from uh, my little candle sniffing relaxation jaunt, and I decided, um, you know, I'm about ready to go to the. I'm, I'm gonna head out to the gym, and normally I don't like wash my face or anything before I go to the gym, but I did want to show you guys and test out for you guys the um, cleansing method to see how well it does removing my. Maybelline Colossal. This is the waterproof mascara that I had on today. I normally don't wear the waterproof formula because I find that it's just too annoying to take off. So I'm going to do that first. I just washed my hands um, and then after I do that I'm going to follow it up to remove the olive oil um, cleanser with the Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid Foaming Facial Cleanser which I've tried this um, so far by itself and um, it's it's quite nice. I didn't test it out as a, as a standalone makeup remover though, but um, anyways. So I I think you could do this dry. I, you know, I, I can't read the directions and I've heard various renditions of what you're supposed to do with this. I have the special pads that I could use in the future, but I'm just going to do like I did last night and put a little bit of the oil um, into my palm here. Um, just just a little bit. It's a little runny so it's difficult for me to show you how much and I'm just going to kind of gently rub it around in soft circles and I'm using this for myself to remove that um, uh, sunscreen because I'm going to go to the gym indoors and there are no windows in there so I'm good there and I'm using it to take off my um, my mascara and it's coming off really really nicely. I'm not having to like scrub or anything you know my sunscreens do tend to be water resistant which just means that they'll stay on the skin with three repeat applicate three repeat after three repeat what what water resistance means up to 80 minutes is that um basically um the spf is retained after three 20 minute uh whirlpool water bath immersions uh, that's how that's determined. It doesn't mean waterproof, okay? So don't think that you're good to go and that it won't come off. It does, in fact, come off. So now I'm just going to wash it off with this foaming. So now I'm just going to wash it off with, wash the oil off with the foaming cleanser. So. And here's how it comes out, just like a regular foam. And from my reading, um, the Japanese skincare Cleansing focuses a lot more on like foaming methodologies. Like they're really into high, um, super foaming and not aggressive scrubbing. 
I don't know what the foam is supposed to do. I think it's just a cosmetic thing, honestly. Oh, it does feel, this does feel good. This this cleanser feels good going on and going on over the oil. I'm not gonna lie, like, like this feels nice. Like, I'm really, <laughs> like, this is luxurious feeling. It, it feels like it's really taking everything off. I mean, I can imagine if you had that whole full face of makeup thing going on that these beauty gurus wear, you'd be, you'd be happy. All right, you guys be the judge. I actually think it did a really nice job. So my next gateway into Japanese skincare is gonna be this milky lotion stuff. And I was reading on the Amazonian, apparently you can get a silicon sheet mask. That sounds a bit aggressive to me, to be honest with you. But apparently you can buy these silicon sheet masks. And I guess they sell them at Daiso, the dollar, the Asian dollar store, which unfortunately Houston does not have, which we need to get on that. But um, I guess the, the thing is to put this on just as I think, I think just as I would normally my uh, oil-free moisturizer that I put on at night. And then they come in with a silicon sheet to occlude that on there. And I guess they sleep that way that sounds intense to me that sounds intense um, so this is my next this is what I'm gonna crack into next um, this gal on here though she's like my spirit animal right now she's like yes better skin better skin skincare superstar <laughs> that's what I feel like I feel like I've really just just done something good for my stratum corneum all right I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll check in with you guys later well, hey guys, coming in with a good old favorite here, my CeraVe healing ointment to my lips. Um, this is a uh, die, ride or die, I guess, uh, for me. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, 72 hours in with that uh, new Hadalabo uh, plumping gel cream, the super hyaluronic acid, and I really, I'm really liking it. So I'd be interested to know how any ceramide body lotions from Japan compare to, say, CeraVe. And as I mentioned this morning, um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit more in the next few weeks about body moisturization, because uh, you guys have asked me a lot of questions about that, and I feel like it's it's a, a salient topic for a Q&A, so that, um, I plan to do that and uh, share with you guys some uh, ceramide containing products that I really love so stay tuned for that I really um just wanted to say tonight thank you guys so much there's so many uh, new folks here who are just you guys are so kind you ask such fantastic questions I want to encourage you all to keep shooting me your ideas in the comments for things that you want to see I may not um, certainly be able to do all of them uh, you know acutely or in the, the immediate future because I have a lot I have a lot planned based on on everyone's request up until this point, um, but I I really enjoy seeing the the requests. It helps me a lot to kind of figure out how um, you know how to to get information to you all in a meaningful manner, you know, as best I'm able. So you guys seem to love the Vitacost hauls and seeing my lifestyle. I personally really enjoy vlogging. That's why I started this channel. Uh, I like sharing my day-to-day -day life with you guys, and you all seem to really enjoy watching the vlogs as well as the sit-down content, skincare focused, and, you know, so, so I'm really having a ton of fun with it. So bad. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.